Well, changing topics, five people were killed in a deadly blaze overnight. That's according to the Bayou Blue Volunteer Fire Department. One person was able to escape the flames and they're recovering in the hospital tonight. WGNO's Ashley Hamilton was on the scene this morning. A fire early Saturday morning destroyed a home in Bayou Blue, killing five while one survivor managed to escape. A tragic event that affects so many people, not only the, the families, but the, the community as well. The Bayou Blue Volunteer Fire Department says the fire started at 345 in the morning at 313 Louise Lane. It was a fully involved structure fire. The roof is uh, partial collapsed when we got on scene. We just did an uh, exterior attack, trying to knock the fire down as quick as we can. State Fire Marshal Brian Adams says the neighbors recall hearing a loud explosion before seeing flames. Foul play isn't suspected at this time. We have had some uh, neighbors that have said that we have some camera footage all of that will be all part of the investigation when that's determined matthew liner lives a few houses down and says the family had moved to the street not too long ago he recalls seeing the family outside just the night before 12 11 o'clock there was proper fireworks by the house and after that time i went to sleep but i woke up this morning and the house was gone so i figured it might have been maybe from the fireworks but i wasn't too sure because that was 12, 11 o'clock last night. Adams explains it could take several days before a conclusion is made. However, after 43 years on the job, a fire of this magnitude will be difficult for everyone to heal from. It's going to be difficult for a lot of people in this neighborhood, as well as the fire department, the sheriff's office, everyone who was out here. This is not something we do every day, and it's a very unfortunate situation, and it will take a long time for this community to heal from this. Ashley Hamilton, WGNO News. And those victims include three adults, a teenager and a toddler. The surviving victim is a teenager.